this is Ed Maxwell. I am a Level 2 Support Analyst with uh, IoT Support. I want to take a few minutes and tell you how to add, a, create and add a view to a Maxmo database. Open up a, um, a SQL tool uh, and then you want to refine your SQL to create your view. So I'm going to start with this. I worked on the SQL ahead of time and um, I'm going to run it here to show you how it works. And now that I'm happy with it, I'm bringing over work type and status and name, work type and status from the work order table, and display name from the persons table, and incorporating it with the lab trends information. When I'm happy with that SQL, I want to add, I want to create the view, and I'm going to create a view create view lab trwo person one I'm going to call it as and then the select statement and execute and that's done and I may want to check that so I'll use this SQL statement here select star from lab trwo person one and run that and see what it looks like so now the uh, SQL statement that we have started with has now become a view that will be available to, uh, that will shortly be available in um, Maximo. To go about this, system configuration, platform configuration, database configuration. And our new object, if we recall the new object, is a lab TRWO person one. Paste. And I'm going to make this part of the lab reporting, lab rep. Lab trans. And it extends object lab trans. And if we go to the attributes, We'll see here are all our attributes that we've set up earlier. And out to list. We're going to save the changes. Listing all. And we can see our new table is to be added. So I'm going to turn on the admin mode. Okay. And close. And next task is to apply the configuration changes. I have a current backup and start configuring. And OK. we will refresh status and move on from there. And it's complete. So, okay. Okay, we have our new lab uh, TRWO person one table here. And that concludes the short uh, video on how to uh, create and add a view to a Maximo database. Uh, thank you for your time.